So what's new in bowel cancer? Uh, again, fantastic news. Uh, since 1995, the um, mortality rates have fallen from uh, 38 per 100,000 per year down to 26. And a part of that is the work we are doing in general practice in referring people earlier. Um, Professor Matt Seymour, who is a Cancer Research UK bowel cancer expert, um, I've, this view is his personal view, so it's not actually ne necessarily CRUK policy, but he basically said that, uh, that there are many contributory factors. So GPs and patients are becoming more aware of bowel cancer symptoms and are acting more quickly than in the past. So we're, we're doing well, but I'm sure that we still have room for further improvement. Bowel screening, a really fascinating uh, slide this, which has come from the, uh, it's now NCRAS, which has replaced NCIN, so that's the National Cancer Research and Analysis Service. Uh, this is looking at routes to diagnosis for colorectal cancer, so this is everything, <coughs> screening, two-week wait, GP referral, other outpatient uh, referral route, inpatient elective, emergency presentation, and not known. And what is interesting is that you can divide them into three. So we know that emergency presentations are the worst. We know that screening are the best. But what is interesting, and this is peculiar for colorectal cancer, two-week wait, a standard GP referral, and any other route to outpatient, they're actually all equivalent. So this is different to lung cancer, where we know that weeks matter. It would appear that a few weeks either way for bowel cancer doesn't actually affect outcomes significantly. But the thing that really does make a difference is if we can make the diagnosis through screening. And as a result, screening should be a really high area of priority for us.